Astonished, I admired the deformity, understood as such when keeping in front of my mind's eye, almost blinding it, the utterly hypothetical image of a human being of admirable configuration, to which, due to my own set of asymmetrical features, and less than bigger than what would be useful for conventional reproductive practices, phallus, I couldn't and shouldn't be, at the very least if the purpose was set to be any other than the exploration and even exhaustion of all the possible ways of achieving my most complete humiliation, in any way compared to, of the masses that constituted the anatomy of my, as established, less than violent and brilliantly sculpted in the form of a well-packed god piece of marble levels of magnificent black cat. Why do I torture myself by having thoughts of this precise nature? To the feline I asked, feeling immediately ashamed of my behavior, which resembled a little bit too closely the one displayed by the ancient and desperate women of my previous neighborhood, who talked endlessly to their pets. Being their husbands dead or so affected by madness that only nonsensical strings of words would be sparsely uttered by their dry and cough-prone thin due to the absence of teeth mouths. What would be the lowest degree of intelligence required to be displayed by an automaton for it to trick one of those savage, stake-deserving witches into thinking that they are chattering with one of their own abominable kind? I, again, inquired to that animated piece of meowing chalk that I, ununderstandably somewhat loved. I am sure, I continued, that you would only require a machine able to play a record riddled with half-hearted salutations and terrible stories about diseases disappointment and marital treachery to win their respect and admiration. And then I started crying, realizing that I had or deserved none of those things.